Welcome back to Wings of Worship, episode five. Very hot wings. Wild wings. Wild. They're wild. On the Scoville scale, it said 300,000. Don't quote me on that. That's Google. <laughs> um, Better than Wikipedia. Yeah. Uh, we'll not too excited for this one. It's going to hurt. Wings of Worship. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. <laughs> very nervous, I'm actually. I'm very nervous. So, I guess we go in for the first bite. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Cue sound effect. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Nice and sauced up and... Mm-hmm. Yep. I probably shouldn't be looking at y'all's reaction first. Oh my. I don't know it's what pepper to use. <clears throat> Is it the quicker you swallow it? Does that help? <coughs> Has not hit your sinuses yet? It hasn't gotten me. I think we need to check his wings out. <clears throat> I'll go back for another bite. Look at you. Go have another. I will too. Wait, I'm next, aren't I? Let me see here. Mmm. <clears throat> Delicious. All right. Well, let's <clears throat> take a drink first. I feel like last week was hot. Er. I felt like maybe it was hotter last week. Y'all didn't warm up your wings at all. <laughs> I warmed mine up. Ah. <clears throat> Are you sweating a little bit today? Not yet. Not yet? So um, we're excited about Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5, big idea, kind of continues off of uh, Ephesians 4 when it comes to um, um, <coughs> when it comes to continuing the direction of a new life in Christ. And um, so in Ephesians 5, the big idea is walking in love and imitating Christ by submitting to Christ. And so that's kind of our big idea. You're feeling it now. It just, my lips and uh -huh. the tip of my tongue. This is barely hot. Barely hot? That's not what I thought. Definitely not what Briar thought. So uh, when I was reading uh, Ephesians 5, I really enjoyed reading uh, verses 1 through 3. Uh, Paul refers to us as children of God. When we uh, have made the decision to follow Christ, we become God's children. Yeah. And I think about in my life, like I'm, I am considered a child because I'm the child of my mother and father um, and everyone else uh, is as well. But you have, your parents have these expectations of how their kids are supposed to live. Um, the same way that, that God has the expectations for those who decide to become a Christian. Uh, the expectation my parents had for me growing up was uh, be a hard worker, mm -hmm. be respectful to all people, uh, love everyone. <clears throat> And their hope for, for me was that I would uh, become a man of God by my own decision, um, not it being based off of my parents. Uh, just because my parents are Christians, that means I'm a Christian. That's not, that's not how it works. Um, and so what verse 2 and 3 does is it shows us the expectation that God has for us to live our life. And that's to live like Christ. Christ lived a selfless life, a self-sacrificing life. And that's evident in um, the final decision he made to, to, to die on the cross for us. And then if you read in verse 3, those are uh, self-indulging uh, mm -hmm. actions. Uh, lust and greed are both, uh, are, I mean, that's the opposite of what love is. Because love is self-sacrificing. You're doing all you can for another person. And lust and greed is, uh, are actions that you do to uh, indulge for yourself. And so I think it's just, I, thought, I, I just thought it was a, a good, um, just a beginning of being an imitator of God because we are God's children. We're supposed to imitate him and his son. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. You know, I remember uh, as, a, as a child, um, and I see this in my, my girls, um, that there's times they want to imitate me, or they do, because they, they love me, not because they're, they have to, and, and I remember that as looking at my dad, there's moments because of love that, that I had for him, things that 
Um, I wanted to do like him because I, I loved him. And, and the idea of being an imitator um, that it says in that passage um, is good. To the point it uses the word fragrant offering, not as in fragrant as these nasty things. I can't take them um, out of Like, I keep... <laughs> <laughs> but, as in, but as in something pleasing, fragrant as in pleasing to the Lord. And, um, and to become like that. And I think that's just a key point. I walk away with that love aspect. Mm-hmm. Um, Briar, you had something. Yeah. Okay, what I liked about Ephesians 5 was uh, verses 7 through uh, 9. Yeah, verse 7 through 9. Uh, and it says, uh, Therefore do not become... Ah. <laughs> Just keep going. You got it. <laughs> I don't like this. I thought it wasn't that bad, but it's pretty... Uh, it says, therefore, do not become partners with them. For at one time you were dark, you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Mm-hmm. Uh, walk as children of light, for the fruit of light is found in. Oh my! I'm sorry, my mouth. Uh, for the loot of fr- light is found in all that is good and right and true. Uh, and when I read, uh, hold on. You got this. Ah, okay. When I read that, I just thought to myself, like, God tells us, don't form to what everybody no. else is doing. No. Don't form to. Don't form to. Necessarily, what is the trend? If that makes sense. Uh, do what God has planned for you. Follow God's path. Don't follow everybody else's path. Mm-hmm. Uh, and right now, I think these wings are really getting me. And I'm, I'm trying to follow God's path, and it's hard, but that's the test of it. You follow God's path even though it's hard. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> this is really bad. I, oh, my God. It's pretty hot. I'm not taking any more bites. That's bad. Uh, I, no I took more? a bite of three wings. What a waste. Don't so I've got this. two. I Fine. need to. I you finished two. Look at this. I'm going to go super hard. This is for you guys. I, I don't do this ever. <laughs> Did you even get chicken? Mm-hmm. Or did you just get the outside? Hey, you don't need it. You don't need it. You definitely don't, don't need it. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that passage of children walking in light um, and mm. comparing... Uh, Walk as children of, of light. Um, and then it goes on in verse 11 that could stood out to me. It said, take no part in unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. And I look at this as Paul's just really challenging uh, the church of Ephesus to, as you show love, as you allow the light of Christ to reflect you, through you um, in all circumstances, that, that darkness is automatically that sin that's, that's in your life, my life. <coughs> Uh, all of our lives is going to be exposed. Um, because here's what we know is like darkness is really just the absence of light. And, um, and so I think about that in my life of allowing God's word and the things that he says and does to, to change me and, and let his light and the darkness that I have, the sin that I have in my life to be exposed um, and then when that happens, like freedom can happen. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I just, I like that aspect of that as well. Um, and then in verse 21, it goes on and talks about um, submitting to one another out of reverence of Christ. And then gives the example later on about husband and wives learning to submit um, to one for the, the wife to submit to the husband, but also to the husband to love the Lord like Christ loved the church. And man, I just think of that uh, analogy as not just roles as husbands, but just as the example of Christ followers, how we're supposed to live our life. What are y'all's thoughts? Go ahead. Are you gone? Do you need some more? Wait, no, I've drank out of this. Sorry, bud. You want me to pour? Hint is not a sponsor Thank either. Thank you, yeah. sir. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I think, I think you, you hit it right. Um, 
it just kind of wraps up uh, all of chapter five is just being an imitator of God and, mm-hmm. and God is light um, and is self-sacrificing. Mm-hmm. And I think light's natural, right? Like, and if we are, if we have Christ inside of us, that light can't help but shine through. <laughs> Thank Carson for the extra water. Thank you, Carson. And so just the importance of us recognizing uh, just the impact of the Holy Spirit in our life. Um, it's like a mustache. Are you burning that bad? I, I have not taken this last bite of this wing. And these are the ones I don't like because I can't eat without getting my lips all nasty. Mm-hmm. So the reason why that one was cold is because I switched one of yours for mine. <laughs> What'd you do to you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> one of mine? Yeah. That's hilarious. This one's not bad, but I don't think it I can... It tastes better when it's warmed up, though. The cold wing is nasty. <laughs> I just can't feel my... All I feel is tingling, tingling and burning in my lips, so I really can't feel anything else. Taste anything? I don't like this. I thought it was pretty good. It was hot, but it's, it's pretty so, good. I, there's no taste. There's no just taste. just burned. If you eat these, I'm going to pray for you. Because something's wrong with you. Well, we got, like, what... 12 more in the box. <laughs> yep. I think I'm done, though. Uh, I'm well, done. I'm not taking any more bites. I love you guys, but no. That's uh, I guess that's all we got, then, for today. Uh, don't forget, you guys, to, to log on and uh, watch Wings and Worship live so you can uh, communicate with us about what you thought of Chapter 5. And uh, I guess we had a winner for um, our last live Mm-hmm. chat and that was Dylan Lewis. Dylan Lewis. Dylan Lewis is our Woo! winner. Congratulations. <laughs> so you will receive a gift card in the next couple of days. You will don't go to Buffalo Wild. <laughs> That's not where we got these, not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs>